Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. In today's video I'm gonna be making a coffee bar. We got an old cabinet last year and we've kind of just been using it for different things around the house but we've always wanted it to be a coffee bar that was the ultimate goal with this cabinet so I'm finally going to be getting around to doing that today I'm going to paint it decorate it all of that we have a coffee bar currently it's just a three drawer dresser that we got from I think Sam's three or four years ago and it's been really good it's just really small and we just don't have a lot of room to put like all of our coffee stuff because we kind of use that dresser as a coffee bar and storage for other kitchen items as well so this new cabinet will be for nothing but coffee stuff. I also went to the Dollar General and picked up some really cute pieces to put on there. I think it turned out really pretty so I can't wait for you guys to see. Y'all know I've been talking about doing this for a while and I'm finally getting around to doing it. But before we get into the video I do want to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. You guys know that internet safety is so so important with a simple google search anyone can find out anything about you your phone number your home address your full name so i know in today's world we can never be too careful with internet safety and that's why i'm so excited to share the aura app with you you guys may remember me talking about them before i have used this to not only protect myself but my kids as well when they are on their electronic devices. So Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically will submit opt-out requests on your behalf. And they will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Aura will monitor your emails and passwords to see if they have been involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit, and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls like blocking inappropriate websites, and I can also set screen times for my children. Aura protects your devices from malware as well, so it's every safety tool that I need all within one app. And I know I can't monitor everything 24-7 on my own, so I just let Aura do all of the work for me. And if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial using my link down below in the description box. You just might be shocked at how much of your private information that Aura finds exposed over the next two weeks. So go to aura.com forward slash Kelly to start your free trial. I'll also have a link down below in the description box. Again, a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. All right, so this is the cabinet I will be turning into a coffee bar today. It was given to us a while back and we've had plans to do this for a while. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this several times. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So I'm really excited to be tackling this today. I'm so very happy with the end result and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I've already taken the back off of it and also one of the shelves so that we could have enough clearance to put the Keurig and all of that down there on the very bottom. And I had to take the back off in order to get that shelf out. So I'll be putting that back on when I'm all done. Having this really gave us a lot more room to work with here in our kitchen as it's very small and not a lot of counter space. We were able to use the old coffee bar to hold some things that were sitting on the counter so it really opened things up for us. The first thing that I made sure to do was give it a quick dust. I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth and my method all purpose just to get all of the dust and the cobwebs off. I have to do all of my projects inside I try to avoid sand in because it just makes the house really dusty it's messy and a lot of work however this bullseye one two three primer 
has been a lifesaver for so many of my projects. It'll stick to any surface without having to sand and you'll be able to paint as normal. I've used this stuff for a lot of things and it hasn't failed me yet, but you can find it at Lowe's. I did tape up around some of the hardware just so I didn't get paint on those. And the others that I didn't tape up, I just made sure to be really careful. But I'm gonna take that bullseye primer and apply one layer of that I think this is always the worst part for me because it looks awful when you start. It's extremely streaky and you're thinking, what have I done? This is looking terrible, but it's definitely a trust the process kind of thing. Once you go back and start painting, it will all come together. And I like too how fast this primer dries. Once I'm just about done applying the first coat, what I started on first is already dry and ready for paint. So this is the back of the cabinet that I had removed before starting. I honestly went back and forth if I wanted to even put it back on, if it would look better without it. I really didn't know at the moment that I was painting it, but I wanted to paint it anyways. So if I decided to put it back on, it was already painted and I'm really glad I did because I ended up putting it back on there. So I'll put the paint color we decided to go with down in the description box, but it's called Glass Slipper by Benjamin Moore. It looks white until it's up against something that's actually white, if that makes any sense. You'll see later, once I have it up against the wall, the color difference, but it's a very, very light gray with a blue undertone. I knew I wanted it to be something light and airy, but definitely not white because there's already so much white going on here in the kitchen. We needed some contrast. And not only that, but our kitchen walls are like a light blue gray color. So I think this ended up being a great choice. But when I first opened the can, it did look white. I really thought they forgot to add my color, but as soon as I started painting and also having it up against a white wall, I can see the color difference. It's a few days later and we are finally getting to the most exciting part, decorating and bringing everything together. Every time I go into the Dollar General lately, I'm always stopping and admiring all of the decor they have now. It's starting to look a lot like Hobby Lobby in here. And I had a vision for the coffee bar. So I thought to myself, I would look at the Dollar General for the decor and they had everything I was looking for. I didn't want to get a lot, but just a couple of pieces. I 
was gonna try to find some kind of coffee bar sign but they only had one and I didn't really like it so I passed on it but I did find a beautiful lamp I was so excited about and a couple other things that were exactly what I was looking for So back home, I'm gonna go ahead and put the back on. I'm just using some finishing nails to do that and then I can go ahead and put it where I want it to go. We decided to move the little table out of here because we were able to put everything that was on that table on the new coffee bar so we really didn't need it. Kai actually is going to use it for his piano now because his piano slides around on his stand so it all worked out but we decided to go ahead and put the coffee bar here where the table sat. is our old coffee bar as you can see not a lot of room compared to the new one and we are also now able to use this one to hold some of our appliances and that freed up some counter space All of these ketchup packets and straws from restaurants I was able to put in one of the drawers so they're now hidden. You'll have to let me know if you save stuff like this from restaurants or do you toss it. My brain will not let me toss it because it's perfectly good and plus it's extra if we run out of things. I just don't want it sitting out in the open. It really bothers me but let me know if you're the same if you save this stuff or do you toss it. Lastly I'm going to move all of these mugs over to the new cabinet and this project will be complete. This also gave us 
so much more space over in this cabinet as well. so happy with how this came out. I couldn't wait to make my coffee in the next morning. It turned out so cozy and country, but I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave your butterfly in the comments if you're still watching. Also remember to grab your two-week free trial with Aura using my link in the description box. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.